Tracking your weight loss goals is super simple with two different methods for body fat calculations. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to The Ninja Life. If we're meeting for the first time, I'm Darren Paris, and I'm here to help you overcome obstacles. On this channel, I provide you with training tips. So if this sounds like something that you're interested in, please consider subscribing. Now there are two ways to calculate my body fat. The first, using a tape measure to measure your waist and neck. And for women, you would also have to measure your hips at the widest point. So measuring my waist, it came in at 28 and a quarter inch. And then my neck at 14 and a quarter inch. I simply plug these two measurements into the body fat calculator, along with my age, weight, and height. I'll put a link to this body fat calculator down in the description for those that are interested. And this is the US Navy and Coast Guard's standard for body fat measurements. So after putting in all my measurements, I came out to an 8.2 in body fat. I found another method that is a little more accurate using body fat calipers. I got these off Amazon for about 10 bucks and I'll drop a link down in the description for those that are interested. I found this method by watching the YouTube channel Athlete X. Now I'm not sponsored by him or trying to promote him, but the guy is awesome. I follow him and I use him for a lot of my references when dealing with general fitness. And I'll put a link down in the description to the calculator that he uses for body fat calculations. Also, I want to remind you that most of my content comes directly from you guys. So if there's a video that you would like to see covered on this channel, drop a comment and connect with me so I can get you the information that you want. All right, let's get back to the video. So on the actual website, it shows you exactly where you want to take your measurements and descriptions of exactly how to take them. The first being the chest fold, and that's located between the armpit and nipple at the pictorial muscle. So it's about a third of the distance between the armpit and nipple, but closer to the armpit. And for me, that's six millimeters. Next, it's gonna be the belly fold. And that's gonna be about two fingers wide away from your belly button and measured vertically. And so the belly fold for me is 12 millimeters. And the last measurement is the thigh fold. So the measurement's gonna be midway between the hip and knee on the inside of the thigh. Again, it shows a vertical measurement. And for me, this is about 12 millimeters. So in addition to your measurements, you're gonna select whether it's a three or a seven skin fold measurement. You're also gonna enter your age and gender. Hit calculate, and for me, that comes in at a 9.72. Ninja talk. I definitely would like to know what are some of your fitness goals? Definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments. If you got any value from my content, let me know by smashing that like button. Keep training hard. I hope to see you on the course, and I'll catch you guys next time on The Ninja Life.